All right, today I'm going to show you guys how to find true center on your quadcopter for placing the APM. It doesn't really matter too much because it does do all the math for you once you do the accelerometers and everything. But uh, I'll show you guys anyways in case some people want to find center a little bit easier. All right, so here's the original APM out of the CX-20. It's the version 252 version 5 board. I'll show you guys this one first. Basically what I did here is I put a piece of sticker on top of here. If you don't have any white tape, or anything like that just use masking tape or something unless you don't mind drawing on a plastic nobody's really gonna see it and if anybody does anyways they're not gonna care ignore this header and these two wires are from other projects so I'll, what you want to do is open up the case and reveal the little hidden duck inside Right, so the gyro chip you're after is this guy right here. So measure the distance any way you can with a ruler or whatever. So I'm going to go right in the middle of the chip from there to there. Right. So on this guy here, you'll want to go on this side here. That's where you'll want to start your measurement from. And again, the same with this guy. Go on this side here. Helps if you find a pen that actually can work on this. So here's the chip. Your gyro chip is right there, if I didn't explain a second ago. And now this would be our actual center. So in the next step, I'll show you guys that. So I'll just put this aside for now and show you this APM quickly and then I'll jump onto the quadcopter part of it. So for this guy here, no little duck. Gyro chips right here, the accelerometer chip. So basically what I'm going to do here on this one is just, because I have a see-through case, you don't really have to measure it. But it helps if you put the case back on properly. Alright, so I got the case back on it, the chip's there. And you can see through it, and it's right beside the V and right above the 1. Just mark it any which way you can, whatever you have around the house. All right, so that's that step. Okay, so now I'll jump onto the quadcopter and show you how to center it. All right, I'll show you guys how to center it. If you have a, two elastic bands, the larger elastic bands, it might be okay, but you don't want to put too much stress on these mortars. So basically what I do is if you have a long enough string, take it, and what you'll want to do is just go around all the motors like this until you can get all of them. But for now I'm just going to make two separate ones. This middle hole right here is going to be your true center. 
So now you'll want to take your APM. And that's basically where that's, that guy is supposed to sit. And surprisingly, the uh, APM 2.6 is further to the back. Most people would think you would want to square it up with these uh, four screws. But this guy here is going to be in the way too. So basically, if you can see that, it's way further back. Basically like that. Now, if you want to make it straight, it's a little bit more work to it. You're going to actually have to level the quadcopter on its side like this. So it gets true level. And then you also have to uh, level the uh, APM just to make sure it's dead straight. Seems like a lot of work, but that's up to you guys. Anyways, I thought I would show you this little trick, and that's it. Thanks for watching.